Revenue Recognition Principle First of all, what is a revenue? A revenue is the increase in resources from the provision of goods and services. For example, receiving payment for providing a good such as a cake or receiving payment for providing a service such as mowing the lawn. So what is the revenue recognition principle? Revenue is recorded when earned, not when cash is received. Let's look at some examples, assuming the accounting period ends each month. Example 1. On the 1st of January, a person goes to your bakery and orders a cake for next month, and they give you cash for it. On the 1st of February, they come and collect this cake that they have already paid for. So on the 1st of January, the cash was received, but it was not until the 1st of February that the cake was actually provided. So when should the revenue be recorded? The revenue should be recorded in the month of February, because you did not actually earn the re the money until you gave your customer his cake. This is known as a deferred revenue. A deferred revenue is when cash is received before revenue is earned. Let's look at another example. Example 2. On the 1st of March, your friend asks you to look after his car and also wash it for him, telling you he will pay you later. It is not until the 1st of April that your friend comes to collect his car and pay you for your services. So it was during March that you provided the service, the car wash, but it was not until April that you received the money for it. So when should the revenue be recorded? March. You earned the revenue when you washed the car, even though it wasn't until later that you received it. This means that the receipt of cash is not required to record a revenue. This is known as an accrued revenue. An accrued revenue is when cash is received after revenue is earned, or in other words, revenue is earned before cash is received. So when is the revenue recognition principle applied in accounting? It is used when producing the Statement of Comprehensive Income, which is a financial statement that records the revenues and expenses of the accounting period to find the company's profit or loss. It is also used for adjusting entries, which is accrual-based. Accrual accounting can be summed up as revenue is recorded when earned and expenses are recorded when incurred, which is basically the revenue recognition principle and the matching principle. The matching principle is like the revenue recognition principle, but for expenses. In summary, revenue is recognised when it is earned, whether cash is paid in advance, deferred revenue, or cash is paid afterwards, accrued revenue. Thank you for watching.